What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got five weeks till duck season and I am procrastinating like heck, like usual. And I am now just getting the duck boat in there. I've had this thing since April and I am procrastinating till now to get things rolling. But I'm gonna work super, super hard. So this is gonna be a series. This is number one of the series. Today we're gonna take the boat out, just cruise around, maybe see some ducks. I'll take my big camera with me as long as she floats. So this is a $300 setup right now. Uh, I guess 325 because of the trolling motor. I bought that for 25. I bought the boat for uh, 200 and the trailer for 100. So we got ourselves a cheap duck hunting setup. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now um, some of the things that I did. Uh, this whole process was kind of sucked for like recording. I lost a ton of footage because I painted the trailer and I still have that. I switched out the tires with my old boat uh, tires and did a whole bunch of things. So I'll show you guys that and then we'll get on with the day. All right, so it's been a few weeks since I've even thought about touching this. Uh, went through turkey season and just didn't have time to even start working on the boat. So today that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm actually not gonna work on the boat itself. I'm gonna spray paint the trailer. Uh, we still need to get the boat out and get it tested. But what I wanna do is take my trailer, spray paint it, make it look nice and everything. So that way we can just throw the boat onto the trailer and then take it to the pond instead of throwing the boat in the back of my truck and then going so this will just make things easier for me so today i'm just going to do a time lapse of a spray paint in this boat i will show you guys it again up close here it is i got some 99 cent spray cans i got 10 of them and a little tool so you guys will see the time lapse okay. all right so i got this side on doesn't look too bad compared to what that is. Almost there. Let's get some more spray paint and I'll show you guys the final product. finished eight cans later there she is I still want to take the rims off I might spray paint these otherwise I'll just power wash them because it's just a bunch of grime but I got to get in here still but I'm gonna take this off first and then the rest of it Looks good. Super excited. Uh, once it dries, I'll put the old boat on there. And then I will see you guys at the water to see if she floats or I gotta buy a new boat. So stay tuned. Well, I probably won't buy a new boat. We'll fix her, but stay tuned. This video is like gonna be like all over because it's gonna be days before I do this and days I do that. Uh, Cause duck seasons, well, five months away or something like that, but Today, I took off the front panel because it was completely rusted away. Uh, I'll probably leave this seat on until I get wood. Uh, one thing that kind of sucks right now is the wood prices. Uh, I want to make like a deck system to where I can have uh, completely wood on the floor and then have a little storage box back here. And then we'll have carpet to hide the fuel tank and everything like that. When we get there and buy a uh, boat motor and stuff like that but uh rained yesterday so this was actually like filled all the way to right here i just pulled the plug and nice thing is, is we haven't taken it i haven't taken it out yet uh got the uh registration and everything in my name just recently i did the license plate and everything i just did that so uh painted it next step is put her on the water i'm not too worried about it uh leaking now because she held water so we'll have to see what happens the main reason of today is i really just wanted to take these seats off um i will dispose of those and i'll have to find out 
uh, some things. I also have a question for you guys. So I put it on this trailer. Is it supposed to be flush with this or is it supposed to go farther up so then I can tie my links up? I mean, I can still tie my links up. I just I'm not sure if it needs to be closer to the frame. So let me know. All right, before we sink this baby, maybe I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so you guys can know. But here's the custom trailer. Pretty sweet, huh? But here's the boat. So today, all I got with me right now is life jacket, push pull, battery, trolling motor, and just a little seat. And then a 16 semi V John boat. So we're gonna take her out right now. So let's back this baby in. Slimed up the new paint job on the trailer. She's dry right now, guys. So I'm gonna pull around, make sure this baby's not gonna throw under. Let's see. Got no water in here. Eww. <laughs> Hang on. Alright, we're gonna start off with push pulling out of here. Push off one, two, three. That's why she was twenty five dollars. <laughs> Think we're going to sneak up on some ducks. Might have to buy a new one. All right, y'all, it's a hot one today, but teal season, like I said, is five weeks away and the boat floats. So we're gonna have to get working hard on this sucker. It looks pretty good in here, in here. I definitely gotta get a new trolling motor. She's a little loud. Um, I mean, if I, I can't afford a trolling motor at duck season, I'll just have to wake up a little earlier. And just go out there at 12, whatever, cause she is a beast. <laughs> so yeah just keep you updated on this boat this is gonna be super exciting um, I think that it's gonna be an we're gonna build the blind on one of these videos so you're gonna have to go ahead hit subscribe because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to build a blind for it we're gonna build uh, camo it out that'll be a video Oop. that's why we we're moving but yeah Super excited for this little series. I didn't get to build my last duck boat, so this one I get to build myself, and I am excited. I'm trying to do is sneak up on these birds because my trolling motor's so hot. Hot, jeez, my trolling motor's so loud. Sorry, my old lady's right there. She's off. There's some Becky's right there. Yeah, there's a two pack right there. Yeah, I see a two pack. It took off on me. Wasn't able to get close. 
but we'll get there. I want to get into some cattails. See how good I look blending in this with this baby. We're gonna try to get this baby into some cattails. I want to see how good she looks when she's buried up in there. There goes a duck. But what'd you say? Tip? We're not gonna tip. Works for me for now, but here's some cattails. Got them, got them come in right here. They're dead. It's hot doing all that work. Mm -hmm. But this is where me and Colin camped out on our kayaks. So I thought, what better way to see if this boat is perfect for the situation than to take it to where I took a kayak. And there just went three woodies. <sighs> Can it be here now? Guys, it is hot out here. Trolling motor, actually, a little quieter. I probably will still get one because it still kicks in and out of it itself, but it's not a priority if I don't get one. So I'm gonna make sure to get everything else done before I get a new motor because I was trying to use the trolling motor until I could afford either a mud motor or a uh, small Evinrude or Johnson, it's kind of the same thing. I just like to stick with the Evinrude Mercury's, like a 9.9 .9 or maybe even a 15 if I can find one at a decent price. Everybody wants a lot of money. But I got big plans for this boat. I'll kind of, I'm kind of in this muck right now. I'll, I'll go through it because we're not going to blow anywhere because there's no wind. But right where Shania is, that little thing, uh, the board completely rotted out. I just burnt it and uh, you see where the white is, I will put basically kind of like a small front deck. And then um, I'm gonna put floors all the way back and then have little sides to make sure to support it because I'm not gonna have this middle section. So I can still sleep here and then we can duck hunt in the middle. And then with the, the wood piece of wood here and having the supports, I'll be able to put cup holders and uh, little spots to put your ammo in and then the other thing is, is that I might just have to go the cheap route uh, until wood prices go down because I'm not going to pay $12 for a 2x4, I can tell you that right now. So it might just have to be I buy a sheet of uh, plywood and fix it up for this season and then do it how I want next season. But I do not want to do that. And I've noticed wood prices have been going down slowly. So... Hopefully that's the case, that wood prices go down so we can complete this boat completely. And that's why I was actually waiting because I was trying to get green treated plywood and everything like that, but just did not drop price at all. Talking with Shy on them suckers just came real close. Big old duckies. They more some hairy man layers. Good to see some good old Mallies. We were, we were coming up here. I was just gonna come hang out, try to get into some shade and scared some ducks and I was just talking. Bruh, I can't believe it. Wild corn dogs. All right, guys. I haven't had corn dogs in a minute. They told me that they grow out here. But they never told me that they looked as good. I'm excited. Like I said, I haven't had a corn dog in a while and I don't like ketchup, so. Not a corn dog. That was just a little joke for you guys, so you guys would enjoy.
this video, but I had to have water. We were gonna do it yesterday when we were just coming out here to look at for some ducks and I didn't have water. But yeah, I'll, uh, if you guys wanna follow me on TikTok, I'm gonna leave that down below. I did it again on, on there for TikTok. It's a little better quality. I had fuzz all over my mouth, so. Yep, I think we're gonna head in. It's hot, hot. That's why I had this thing on my head. Kind of give me shade, and then she had it in her cooler, so it was kind of cool. So we're gonna head in. I think that's gonna be it. We're gonna power wash this baby off since we got a bunch of this green slime all over. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anyways, I just can't wait for duck season, and I can't wait to continue this series. So like I said, if you guys have not yet, hit that subscribe button because this is gonna get even better. This boat is. Got that pre camo. Green slime. Alright, baby's all loaded up. So, that's it for today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power wash it in the next video. Try to get some of that paint and stuff off. But yeah, short and sweet video today. Um, I'm kind of excited. Like, oh, I've been saying that all day. I'm just super excited because last year without a boat, it kind of sucked. I mean, the kayak. The kayaking was fun, and I'll do it again, like early season, but when it started to get cold, that was rough. And uh, I want to do more walk-ins and stuff like that, but she would have she would have killed some ducks today. I mean, if she was all cameled up, that's it, that is. But yeah, if we were out there today and we wanted to kill some ducks, we would have been able to do it. So that's a good day and not a lick of water in her. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, with duck hunting season coming up, I, I want you guys to leave me some comments down below what challenges you guys want to see me do. Uh, I'll do like a eat only what, what I shoot challenge uh, where I can like stay the night on the campsites at some of the uh, hunting grounds and do like a three day challenge or a two day challenge because of work. But yeah, just whatever you guys want to see this come season because this is my favorite time of the year. I got pheasant hunting coming, I got duck hunting coming and I might even do deer, deer this year. So like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you do not miss a single upload because it's gonna be so fun this year being able to do all this and have the boat and everything. It's just gonna be a whole new experience having this big of a boat so hope you guys liked it and if you did go down the bottom smash the like button while you guys are down there hit that sub button so thank y'all and i'll see you guys on the next one peace